My name is Kathy and I'm one of the members of the Youth Collective. Um, so I found out recently from the World Bank um, that um, according to their measurement of the international poverty line uh, that um, over 700 million people live on less than two dollars a day um, and to me that was startling considering that here at Villanova where I go to school um, our dollars under our meals under our meal plan um, can cost up to eight dollars and twenty five cents a day. And there are seven hundred million people in the world living on a fraction of that each day. And so today, for our mutual action aid um, aid action day, um, I wanted to challenge myself to put uh, myself in another person's shoes and to see what it's like to live on less than two dollars a, a day. So follow along to see what that is like on a, for a college student on a college campus. Thank you. Okay, so before I go uh, to the convenience store on campus um, and see what I can get for the amount that I have, um, I decided that I was just going to utilize the leftovers um, that I had from um, dinner as a Sena um, that we had on campus yesterday. Uh, it is arroz con pollo um, with some beans. So um, that would be my first meal for today, which cost me zero dollars all right everyone so for my last meal today um because i was not able to fit in lunch today um i decided to head to the convenience store on campus to see what i would be able to find for less than two dollars um and turns out that was not easy especially on a college campus so um all i was able to find was this tuna salad kit um and crackers for two dollars and 19 cents so i was already over budget and of course this is not enough to fill up uh for the rest of the day so um i was able to um i will i was gifted this um a fig bar from the kindness of a friend so um that i will use this to help me uh power through the rest of the day so um as you can see there is not a lot you can live on for less than two dollars a day um, and I hope that this inspires you to think about the ways in which you live and see um, what, how you can use your resources to help others. Um, some of the ways in which you can do that is donating to organizations such as Food Not Bombs um, or community fridges that might be in your area. Um, and if anything, you can go to mutualaidhub.org to find out more. So um, thank you so much for following along today and I will see you soon. Hello, I'm Alejandro Barca from Face Vene. My act of kindness for this month has been adopting this little one from an organization called Pets Alive. Um, I encourage everybody to uh, look into adopting pets, especially during the winter season coming up. Uh, I know Pets Alive and a few other organizations have reached critical mass and to um, avoid you know, having to euthanize any animals um, adoption is, is a good way to take them in. Um, Spark here was actually, um, I found her off the street originally and brought her in. Um, I had noticed that she had a cough, so, uh, I got her registered and went through, uh, Pets Alive in order to, um, to get, uh, everything registered. Um, so if it can be anything, an act of kindness, can be getting stray off the street, um, or you can go through proper uh, channels uh, like Pets Alive, like I did, um, or Snap here in San Antonio. So uh, that's my act of kindness for this month. For Pasha Ibene's Mutual Aid Action Day today, us in the Campaign on Violence Youth Collective are doing some acts of kindness around our local communities. So I, for example, went apple picking in a local orchard the other day 
and I'm going to make some fresh pies and bring them to my classmates and teachers tomorrow because we have all been having our first test lately and everyone's really really stressed out and there's been some fights in our school there's a lot of violence and everyone's just having a really hard time so I thought I would help bring some joy to the community by bringing some pie and to remind all of you that acts of kindness can be as big or small as you like. They can be just helping a neighbor or donating some old clothes. So we would like to invite all of you to join us today in this action day. Good morning, everybody. It's Rosie here. Happy Campaign Nonviolent Action Days. Thank you to Shayna and Rivera and everyone at Pau Jai Benny who's worked on it, and of course, all of you who are taking part. I am showing up today uh, along with my youth collective friends, and today we're highlighting acts of kindness. So watch me today as I go around and try and do little things to brighten other people's days. So the first thing that I saw was this concept called the book fairies. I had never heard of the book fairies before, but I saw a, this video of Emma Watson. You might have seen her. She's like from Harry Potter and some other movies. And um, she was like placing books around, I think it was Paris, like books she really loved. She put ribbon on them uh, to kind of show people like, hey, this is a book you can pick up. I didn't just leave this here. You don't have to reunite me to my book. So anyway, I found some books that I loved but want to pass on. And um, I'm going to like be a book fairy for the day. So come along. And so if you're going to become a book fairy, I highly recommend that you pick out some books that are, you know, kind of relating to nonviolence. That's a great way to celebrate this awesome week that we have. I wrapped some of mine in ribbon because I wanted people to be really aware, like, this is a gift. This is for you, you know, instead of just, oh, I dropped my book here and you should get it back to me. And so I recommend doing that. Um, I am having a lot of fun here because I had my sister there and of course my cat showed up a lot. Both of my cats were really involved. So you could even make it a party. You could have people over and have people uh, bring their own books. And here's my cat, Adrian. She was having even more fun than I was. <laughs> I put these markers in there that said free book. I did a lot of dancing. I think I'm dancing to a Taylor Swift song there. And I think that uh, it's also nice if you want to write a note in there about how maybe the book touched you or moved you and also indicating to other people that it might be fun if they passed it on. Hi everybody. So I made it to UK and I'm going to go drop off these books now. Come along. And so I decided to put these books in the student center. Here you can see a bit of what it looks like. I thought it might be fun to put one of them with the cat. How cool is that? That's one of the first ones that's picked up. I also put one in a student center where people study a lot. I was going to show you all the last place that I put the book, but they wouldn't let me film there. But here are the books that I passed out. They're really awesome. I highly recommend you check all of them out. I loved them. So it's evening now, but before I went home from school, I actually did a quick look around to see if people got the books. They did! So I'm so happy because, you know, now some more like books that I really loved can get passed on. So good idea, guys, if you want to go out and do this. Oh, look at the chicken. <laughs> anyway, if you want to go out and do this, then I highly recommend becoming a book fairy. It was really fun. Miss Chicky recommends it as well. Hi. How are you? Yes. You know, for Campaign Nonviolence Action Days, you can just have conversations with chickens about saving the planet if you want. You can. <laughs> okay, I'm being silly. But anyway, it was great. I loved it. I highly recommend it. And also, after that, I went and helped my grandma's friend with her computer thing. Um, and that was really good. And so, you know, Activism doesn't have to be hard and spreading nonviolence doesn't have to be impossible. And so I just want to wish y'all a very happy campaign nonviolence action days. So grateful for all of you. Mwah. Peace out.